here with Marquis Siegel, safety at K-State now. I want to get, I want to get the elephant out of the room. Uh, I think that I was one of your biggest fans last year because I was talking about he's always in position to make the right play. But I affectionately have called you Stonehand Siegel <laughs> for as many balls that came off. Uh, is that one of those things last year that was just more bad luck or something that you thought, okay, I need to, Im- I need to make sure I get better at this this offseason? Because, I mean, there's a legitimate chance you would have led the Big 12 in picks last year. And some of them, I mean, you were always in position to make big plays, and you still made them. But now this year it seems like the opportunity is there to kind of expand on that. Yeah, most definitely. I think last year I just over, was overthinking and just like I need to do this. I need these picks. I need this in the mountain instead of just letting it come to me. So I feel I was overthinking it. And then this season it's just I'm going to let everything come to me instead of trying to force it, trying to overthink it. So I feel that's going to be the biggest difference and definitely working on the, my hands for sure on the offseason. Yeah. Well, you, and you got the one that mattered against KU, so exactly. that's that's good enough. Yeah. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll be sure to transition it into soft hands <laughs> this year. You'll be, you'll be good to go for that Most definitely. Uh, now that you're in year two in a big 12 program do you feel more comfortable and and like one of the leaders on the team yeah most definitely I felt I made a statement of being a leader um, last year too just during that Kansas game during the halftime I got on I brought the defense up in the ha- um, in the locker room and just like saying we're not being us like we got to be better and then that second half we did be better and then the crazy the fact that I ended up clutching the game was a crazy moment for me uh, being in the 3 3 5 the safety has a lot of responsibilities. So what's the hardest part of being a free safety in K-State's defense? Um, it's just, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just free safety, you got to be that dog. And it, it's just, you got to be built for it. So it's just, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just like, you got to be ready for it. You got to be ready to play man. You got to be ready to get in the box. You got to be ready to not have help. And you're going to be on the one-on-one islands. So I definitely say it's just like, it's testing you. Uh, what, what's something that you've really tried to improve on during the off season? I probably man coverage and just learning what's in front of me, just with the linebackers, what um, their fits is, whether the D line is fitting their run schemes or their schemes, and then just trying to learn the defense as more as I can, just outside of my position. And then uh, the safety spot has a lot of experience, but also has some uh, some younger players that have a bunch of promise. So, who are some of the younger players that have really stood out in the safety room so far? I'll say VJ. He's going on his third year. He's definitely about to make an impact. I feel he's ready for it. He's about to take that jump. Kobe McAllister, he had that one year. He was new to it in a new role. I feel he's going to take that next step. Um, We still have Kendra Steiger. He's still a new guy. He came from an injury. He's coming back healthy. During our practices, he's been doing good, locking up at free safety. And I'll say Wesley Fair, Jack Fabris, those guys was freshmen. Um, And they're taking that next step, learning the playbook better being more fluent, being more skilled to their position. What's it like with, with this defense where it feels like, well, Coach Kleiman came over and talked about depth on the defensive line, secondary is a big deal, and you obviously just listed off a bunch of guys that yeah. uh, you seem to think are developing well. What is it like playing for Coach Klanderman, and, and what is it about his defense that you guys enjoy so much? Um, I'll just say the type of coach he is. He's um, an open coach. He's willing. If you're willing to work, he's going to be right there with you. He's going to take you every step, what you need, what help you need, what where you need help on. It's just he's going to take you through those steps, slow, your pace, not nobody else's pace. And I feel that helps everybody develop their own way. I, I like to do this at Media Days, uh, a little bit more lighthearted fun. Is there, do you have an impression of any of your coaches, like Coach Klanderman or somebody else, where they have a saying or they have some kind of like tick or mannerism that you've picked up on that you like to laugh at? I've been getting this question a lot. I wish I had one for y'all. They all be random. It's not. They don't do the same thing. They all be having random stuff. Uh, now we've we've talked a lot uh, to everybody that's come through here today about the the talent that there is on the roster. We just talked to Hallie Panzer mm-hmm. about. It seems like nationally there's this misconception that just because there's turnover at some of the positions, offensive line or others, yeah. people are mistaking that for a lack of talent that you yeah. guys have. And we just saw that. You guys didn't have a single player on the all Big 12 preseason yeah. team. How, as players, do you guys take that and, and think about it? Just motivation. I take, I feel just as I think my play or my teammates think, just motivation. We're underdogs. They overlooking us. So it's just we're going to show them when the time comes, when the time to put the pads on on Saturday. Uh, I'll go with a fun question. Uh, who is the best trash talker on the team? Trash talker? I say me. <laughs> 
I'm very competitive in everything I do in the runs and everything. I say I'm the biggest trash talker. And then uh, who on offense so far has kind of given you guys fits as a defense during uh, during practices, during the spring, or even like some of the summer workouts? You say give us fits? Yes. I'll tell you, what do you mean by fits? Uh, like who has been somebody on offense that has been really tough to go against, either one-on-one -on -one in coverage or just in general? I'll say um, – we, our new transfer pickup, um, Dante Cephas, just because how new he is, um, didn't used to how his play style is, how he run routes, just because it's all new. I'll say definitely him. And then, uh, so you're the they're the biggest trash trucker on the team, but who's the biggest one on offense? Offense, I'll probably say Dylan Edwards, <laughs> definitely. I that that doesn't surprise me. I, Jace Brown kind of gives off vibes that he might, but how, what's what's that like? Dylan Edwards doesn't surprise me either, but I think. <laughs> He's just a really confident guy. Yeah, Jace, he talks here and there, but he lets his work show more just because he knows he's still an underdog. He still knows he's still got to put more into work. So he's, I'd say he keeps his head low. But he definitely going to talk here and there when he makes a play on you. Definitely going to rub it in your face. What's it been like for you guys seeing, obviously, DJ Giddens a ton last year, yeah. and now Dylan Edwards is in the mix, so you see those guys up close. What's it like kind of getting the, the back and forth between those two different styles? It's just – that's like you said, the different styles. Dylan is acceleration, quick, elusive, and then DJ, he's elusive, but it's just he gonna run through you too. So it's just like I'll say, just the different styles. Uh, Media days used to be in Arlington at AT and T Stadium, where the Big Twelve Championship is. Now in Vegas, if you could choose, would you rather it be in Vegas or Arlington? Um, I'll say Vegas, just because I want to see. Um, the A&T Stadium when we play for the Big 12 Championship. Uh, your coach surprisingly said that he was a Vegas guy. That surprised <laughs> Drew and I. Uh, is there any part of you that wishes that you guys had more time here to be able to actually see or do some of the Vegas-type things? Definitely. Everybody wish we could stay for a night <laughs> just to see how he is, how we is. <laughs> I would be interested to see a night with Chris Kleiman in, <laughs> in Vegas. Uh, we waited long enough to talk about it. We're asking everybody because I think you guys are excited about it. Obviously, we are and <laughs> certainly the fans, but EA Sports College football mm -hmm. is a big deal. Before we get into kind of the specifics of what you've seen and, and heard already about it, what does it mean to you as somebody that I'm sure growing up played a game like that and now you're going to get to be in that game Definitely. and uh, do it at K-State? Um, it's huge to me. It's a dream come true. Just as a kid playing the games, you wish you was in and you wish you was playing as yourself. So just now being in yourself, about to be able to play, is just a dream come true. Hadley Panzer said he saw his rating. He wasn't <laughs> thrilled with it. Have you have you checked out your rating in um, it yet? Yeah, I didn't get to play it, but I definitely heard I was an 86. I said I'll, oh. be, I'll be fine with anything between the 85 to 89. So yeah, and definitely. I mean, they. I think they're going to update during the season yeah, too. Definitely. So that, that's that's a good initial yeah. ranking yeah. for you. I'll there. be up in the 90s soon. Yeah. Okay. I like to hear that. Uh, what uh, are you, what will you do the first time you get to play the game? Like it's it's your copy you have it in front of you. Are you just jumping? Like are you online? Are you dynasty? How are you how are you doing that? I'm probably just gonna play against the computer and just play with my team just to see how it is, get a feel of it. Uh, so that's that's a that's a good answer. I think you gotta ease yourself into it before you go online. Uh, so another kind of just schematic thing is that it seems like you guys have a lot of talent on the defensive line, especially at defensive end. So what has been kind of gone through during practices about are you guys trying to get more defensive ends on the field or is this kind of like a let's kind of see how it goes? Um, I say we definitely been trying new things just because uh, how much depth we got in there trying to expand our what we used to do. So definitely trying to get all those guys out there as most as we can. So I definitely say we definitely trying to use that as much as we can. And then how much, I know that this was a while ago now, but the Pop-Tarts Bowl and how can that really kind of catapult the defense to playing even better this year? Because I know that the, the sour taste of <coughs> Iowa State kind of went out with the NC State game, so how can the NC State game be a, a springboard? Um, it's just, that just showed everybody that we still them. We still going to play a great defense. We still got a lot in us instead of that Iowa State, what we showed. And we got more to show this season. This is how we the best defense in the country. Last question for you. There are new teams again in the Big 12, and obviously every team for you last year was a new team coming yeah. in. Uh, is there a road game that you're most looking forward to this season? Yeah, most definitely. Colorado. Automatically, Colorado. Because of the, the view, the terrain, or because of the, everything that goes on with it being Colorado? All above. Yeah. Everything. Everything that comes with it. 
Well, uh, I think that's the one that probably most people and fans are looking forward to, the kind of reignition of a Big 8, Big 12 rivalry and getting to, to go there. So most definitely. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's probably the correct answer if we're giving out right <laughs> or wrong here. So uh, we appreciate it, and I gave Hadley this chance to do it, so I'll, I'll let you do it too. Before we go, is there an, anything else that you want people to know about K-State football in 2024? Um, I'll say whatever you think of us – we're going to change it. Even everything you think bad of us, we're going to think good by the end of the season. Awesome. We appreciate it. Thank I you. I appreciate you.